Morning thought. Some days it's harder to work than others. There are days that I sit there and stare at the screen, going, why, <laughs> why did I choose this profession? Oh, there are no more words left in my head. I can't keep going. I just have nothing to give anymore. And then there are other days when I wake up and the words are overflowing from my mind. I can't type fast enough. So how do we strike a balance? How do we achieve consistency when inspiration seems so random? How do we motivate ourselves on those down days? And how do we slow down on those up days? Well, my darling, the key is routine. I know it sounds like such a dull word, and the teenager in me still hates it. Oh, <laughs> she hates it so much. But it really is the best. If you can find yourself a routine that fits you, and feel free to experiment here, write the first thing in the morning when you wake up, or just before you're going to go to sleep, right in the middle of the day, or the late afternoon, whenever inspiration feels as if it's piling up, find that time and do it consistently for a few days. See how the results work for you. And this is important because not everybody feels at their best when they first wake up. But most people have found that it is actually an incredibly good time to write. And there's a reason I make my morning thoughts in the morning. But, for you, find the time that's right. It doesn't matter when you get the work done, but it does matter that you get the work done. Build that routine, and your mind will find it far easier to slip into your writing headspace. I also have different music tracks and compilations for different types of stories. If I'm writing a piece with a lot more action, I have upbeat songs that tap into that emotion. If I'm writing a loving couple, then I listen to songs that bring out the loving side of me. If, however, I'm writing a dark or kinky scene, I have a different playlist for that as well. And for my personal stories that I write for me, I have a playlist for each book. Set the mood, find the time, and build the routine. That is how you keep going, my darling. That is how you will find the strength to get to the end of your stories. Keep going. Keep writing. Keep fucking up. And have fun, my dears. Life is one gigantic experiment. So embrace it with both hands. And keep on writing.